It has a lot of tools in just one place. It also has a section of community where you can see what other creators are doing and just get inspired. I just want this video to be like a really one-on-one -on -one overview of Freepik so you can get started with it. So first of all, let's go ahead to the homepage. And here you can see that you have some options like very quickly accessible, which is generate image, video, voiceover, chat with AI. This is basically ChatGPT and they have some workflows that you can use that are already there, like generate new poses, generate video prompts for VO3, etc. I don't want to overwhelm you, so let's just go ahead to the image generator. So when you are in the image generator, you have all of these models to use from. And depending on what you want to use, some of the models have descriptions. So for example, Ideogram 3 is really great for typography and graphic design. Flux is really like artistic. Google is more photorealistic. And then you have a lot of models to choose from. And that also happens with video. So let's go ahead and create something with Ideogram. And we can also select with Ideogram the colors we want to use. For example, let's say very autumn colors like these ones and i'm gonna ask for a coffee shop scene and as you can see i have ai prompt selected which allows the ai to perfect my prompt if there's any mistakes or if it can be better for the ai to understand you can also select the aspect ratio that you want. I'm going to do this one in social story. The composition and add effects. For example, I asked for gold glow, golden light. So I can just go ahead and click here and then click generate. Another really cool thing is that if you are in the middle plan or the top plan, you get unlimited image generations, which is really nice for you to be able to explore without limitations. Oh, I really like these. It looks kind of like from a film camera. Oh, these are really nice. So what if I change my mind and now I want a white screenshot? I can just go ahead and click edit image and select resize and then go ahead and select 16 by nine. And that's that. Then you get a resized image. <laughs> there we go. Amazing. So for example, if I wanted to have more detail into this image, I can just upscale here and go ahead with precision, which is really good with faces. And just go ahead and play a little bit with this and upscale. Okay, let's see how it did. Oh, here we have this one. Kind of did a good job. Kind of funky hands, we still got that with AI. But we can always just go ahead and generate our image with another video model, I mean image model. So if I want it to be like super realistic, I can always just use Google Image without the Ultra. And add to, and I will ask for four examples, just so we can compare. I mean, this one, like they look like actual photographs. This is so crazy. So for example, if I wanted to use this image for a video, let's say you have a coffee shop and you just want to make some B-roll for it, you can just go ahead and on the same image, cl click on generate or create video. I can also click on enhance prompt with AI, so it will make my prompt better. And as that is happening, I'm going to show you something really cool. So if you click on the image that we generated and click on edit, you can use Nano Bananas to have more mm, angles from the same image. So I can say zoom into the book. Okay. And then I can, I can even like change the cover if I want to. You can go to visual and then just click wherever you want to make a change days of our lives. If you have watched Friends, you will know what I'm saying. Wow, amazing. It keeps impressing me so much. <laughs> Just go ahead and click save. 
Wow. All right. Nice. Let's make a video of this one. You know what? I think I want to zoom into her face. So I'm just going to go to edit image and What is cool about Nano Bananas is that you can extract so many scenes and possibilities from just one single image. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. This is really nice. I really like her smile. And yeah, let's go ahead and animate our images now. I think we have like a really good, nicely done 30 or 15 second ad for your Instagram, for your coffee shop, for anything that you might need. I hope you like this video. I'm going to show you a video at the end of what we generated together and I hope to see you at the next one. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.